Just a trigger warning, you're going to hear a lot of terrible English accents. <laughs> lady Whistle Yang. Oh, you're Lady Whistle Yang? Goodness me. <laughs> Today we're trying on historical women's dresses from the Regency era, which apparently is different than the Victorian era. So is this like Jane Austen times? Billowy. Look at the billows. Where is the help? That's right. Beautiful. AKA Bridgerton dresses. Hey, hey! Excuse me. Not while the lady's getting ready. You hate the stocking? You. You. We're dressing up like 1800 ladies. Today, the Try Guys are gonna be trying on Victorian era dresses. No, not Victorian, Regency era dresses. Bridgerton is very hot on Netflix and social media right now. Becky watched it in one day. My wife has been watching all of Bridgerton. It's a lot of uh, steamy glances. We weren't quite sure exactly what the Bridgerton era is. Many of us refer to everything as Victorian, whether it's Tudor or Regency or Edwardian. I think a lot of us just throw Victorian out there without quite knowing exactly what the years are. We also had a wonderful designer who rented these costumes from a Hollywood costume studio. This is as authentic of a complete look for a Regency era woman that we have access to. I don't really know what we're doing today, but I'm excited to become a fancy British lady. It's my birthday today. Okay, um, let's begin. Uh, I assume we start with socks. Uh, just like me, every day I start completely naked and in socks. I don't watch a lot of old British TV shows. I didn't watch Downton Abbey. I didn't, I don't even, was that British? I don't know, I didn't watch it. I'm surprised we didn't have any like bloomers or anything. When I watch British period films, it's the women's dresses that started making me understand that this was more of the 1800s versus the 1400s. Whoa, look at these. These are the longest socks that I have ever seen. These are, these are pants. I don't know much about the 1800s British ladies. I have avoided that art and literature my whole life. I just don't care about the pride and prejudices and the emmas. It's just a bunch of people with accents going, oh, mama, do you think that the prince will like me at the ball? Written, pretty cold, you know, it's pretty up there. Probably feels good to keep your toesies warm. This is an era where the most important thing in life was who you were married to. Uh, that still is the most important thing for me. I'm married to my wife. Now we're doing Try Guys videos, baby. Okay. So far these feel like high soccer socks. Bam. They kind of fit like boots. Actually, I have some shin guards. Let's see how they fit. Oh yeah. Oh, those slide in nicely. <laughs> this is, I've never seen socks so long. First shame. Oh, hell yeah. I'm ready to go, baby. You guys see this? I'm uh, like a Regency era soccer player. All right, we got a Eugene fact over here. He says, the Regency was a period from roughly 1811 to 1820 that came before the Victorian era. So it was before the Victorian era. That's like uh, nine years, that's not that long. It's like the flapper era. Ooh, it's considered to have been less morally strict than the prudish Victorian era, as evidenced in the women's dress. Ooh, we're gonna dress slutty today. <laughs> so even though it was earlier in time, it was actually more sexy. So the Victorian era was like a, a reaction to it. And ankles were not considered too salacious. Ah, so Zach is gonna love this if he can show off some ankle. He would have thrived. I like this era. You can show a little ankle, little, little tip, ankles. <laughs> That's it, the more you know. Next up, the corset and chemise. Shemate, chemis. Corset and chemise. I used to be a chemise. I mean, I'm saying chemise because I think it's a French word. Uh, chemise. All right, let's do the chimse it. This is probably the chemise. No, that can't be the chemise. That's the inner dress. Chemi chemise? I like how light and silky this is. This feels quite nice. Maybe this is just like underwear. Oh. 
Look at her. Look at me. Oh, my poops are out. That's her horrified. Well, let's be honest, the titties aren't filling it out. It seems so much more scandalous than if I were just naked. I mean, I love the billowiness. I feel like if I jumped into the water, I would drown. Wow, this is <laughs> very light and very soft. Okay, here we go. It's corset time. Now I know that they never put corsets on themselves. Oh, this is gonna be tight. This is a tight corset. Everything was going on like pants today. Do I step into it? Nope. I'm stuck. Where is the help? My butt. <laughs> Get out of your butt. <laughs> oh, it's stuck in the corset. Of course it is, eh? Oh my, I'm gonna get the Duke's fancy. Guys. The Duke in Bridgerton is so hot. It's crazy how hot he is. He, he's just like, he, he only acts like this. He just moves little muscles. He goes. He is one of the hottest people I've ever seen. He is. I'm the Duke. So hot. I have to get my manservant. Matt! I'd like to be cinched up in the back a little bit, you please. You would! Now I can see why ladies of this era required assistance when getting- oh! I had a lot of coffee. Oh yeah, good, good. Oh, so they got me the, a corset for a child. Oh yeah. Okay, think pretty. I need several ladies' help. Oh! Wow, this works really well. Oh! You know, pretty? Yeah. I've done this before. Is it good? Does it make my boobies look good? We gotta pull them out a little bit. You do? Oh um, my, my chicken breasts? Yeah. God. It is so hard to tie things behind your back. 1800s time, they would be tying this so much tighter. Oh, but the, the poops look a little more boob like. Do I have a little bit of. Yeah. Chest, no? And you also have to like push them together. <laughs> right. Okay. Thank you, manservant. <laughs> Marriage was how the utmost important for women of this time. They had very little say in the choice of husband, as most marriages were arranged at this time. And her dowry was commonly considered a means by which a responsible family compensated a husband for their daughter's lifelong upkeep. Lots of runaway marriages happened during this time since parental consent was required. All right. Hello. Hello, I'm uh, becoming a lady. Hello. Hey, how's it going? Good, good. How are you with your try on? Oh, darling, it's going lovely. Lady Feather Yang, I need your help. Okay, tell me what the matter is. Oh my gosh, I'm leaning over right now, Eugene, in front of the camera, and the corset is slightly pushing my little boobs up. Yeah, I yes. am cinched, except uh, for my stockings, which are rakishly down around my ankles. Oh, oh, do you know that maybe you could use the elastics for that? <gasps> oh, that makes so much more sense. Yes. Uh, first of all, I'm guessing the, what is it? The chartreuse, the, the chemise? The chemise. The chemise? I put that on underneath the corset, is that correct? That is correct. Yeah, miss. Where did you put the corset? Is it over or under your chemise? It's over the chemise. I believe that is correct. Oh, thank goodness, because I could not do it again. What shall I wear for shoes, Lady Yang or down? I... <laughs> <laughs> Lady Whistle Yang, what should I do about footwear? It was not provided for me. If you don't have like a low heel, because that's not going to be quite accurate, they, they did like to wear ankle boots. <gasps> ankle boots? I can't wait to see you at Lord Zoomington's gala tonight. I can't wait to see that rakish duke. Next up, the dress itself, the big mumba jamba. Yes, of resistance. Oh, this is so exciting. Oh my. Oh, ma'am. Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me, ma'am. Like wearing this dress is, is a rite of passage. It's like a bar mitzvah, but instead of poorly reading a Torah portion, you're uh, getting auctioned off to be wed. Hello, sirs. I like the uh, Empire Waist. I believe that's the signature of this time period. Feels very feminine, but also very light and flouncy. This looks nice. Billowy. 
Look at me, oh, it's so beautiful. Showing off my collarbone, quite sexy. Showing off my scoliosis and farmer's tan, very hot. Could you help my, I can't close the back of my dress and I've been like this for hours. I've got these little tassels which you can ring for service. This stuff out spaceless, of course. I could, it, I had to do it myself. The reason Sierra is not about tiny, tiny waist specky, it's about being a haughty bow body. My good sir, may I have this dance? The incredible Lady Spider Down. Thwip, 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 thwip. Oh, you're a prince. So another fact is each year, a small group of aristocratic British families descended onto London for the roughly six month social season. <laughs> When balls, concerts, dinners, and other lavish parties brought together eligible young men and women. Pressure was on for the women, as the real aim was to bring together wealthy, influential families and keep the money and the power within a fairly small circle of society by controlling the pool of suitors. Oh my gosh. Uh, still happens today. Keeping the money away from everyone else. It's classes, baby. It's still classes, baby. The aristocrats are still doing shit. Poor stay poor, rich get rich. Tax the rich, baby. Tax the rich. Especially when you see things like Bridgerton, the balls are of utmost importance to make a grand impression. I am fully dressed. I feel sexy. And now it's time to go be the British lady that I am. Right, is it hey? Yeah. What is it? Let me see the garden. Ooh, my rosemary. Oh. Oh, it's lovely. <laughs> so bright. The feathers is coming in nicely. I heard that Lady Habersdown was in the dark walk with a robe. In my city hot day for Lady to be out. I, perhaps I should have a glass of champagne. Depression is just this. Nice feeling that I keep around at all times. Hello, why are you so scared? It's just me. The Duke is here. He's here. The Duke is here. Well, it's time to get on a Zoom call with my boys and see how their day is going as well. Cheerio. Are we here here at Lord Zoomington's ball? Oh, I'm so excited to see you ladies and see what you look like. Why, yes. Do you take tea with your tea, darling? Mm. Lady Cornwall, here I am. Oh! Lady Fullbottom is here. I'm ready to attend the ball. Ha ha. Hello, ladies. My father is the dick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you look ravishing, my dear. And now, here comes Plenty whistle yang. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> How can we didn't get wigs? You look dope. Because I own this wig, darling. Lady Whistle Yang, at your service. You know, I learned that there are very different time periods in British history. Regency certainly is one of my favorites. I'm just about the most uncomfortable I've ever been. Uh, my, my whole midsection hurts. I'm very sweaty, but I look so demure. The light is, uh... <laughs> Pretty aggressively on your face. Maybe, maybe, maybe. You're quite right. Yes, I too learned of the stresses of the dresses. I just can't wait to get that cash, dog. Give me that dowry money. Give me that big boy dowry money, cause this ass is worth it. I don't think you get the money, Ned. What? Yeah, it's, it's basically what they're paying your husband to maintain your lifestyle. What? I got to pay money <laughs> when I look like this? Zach's looking fancy and Ned's looking hot. And Eugene is really the truest thought. And Keith is romancing his every wish. Yes, all of these men are fish. It's a drag reference saying we're super f***ing hot.